Welcome to Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Let's get to it. A little before midnight in Grand Island, Nebraska, dozens of workers file into one of several slaughterhouses across the Midwest. And tonight, officials from the Department of Homeland Security tell NBC News federal investigators are looking into whether 50 children who were illegally employed by Packers Sanitation Services, or PSSI, some as young as 13, were victims of human trafficking. In August, the Department of Labor opened an investigation into PSSI, scouring company records from 50 locations. So far, they say, at least 50 children were found to be working graveyard shifts for PSSI and at least five locations locations, including the Grand Island plant and a second JBS Foods plant in Worthington, Minnesota. Audrey Lutz has been helping migrant children who say they worked at the Grand Island plant. It was the hardest phone call of my career to receive that there were children uh, and young children, you know, 13 and 14, working out at the meatpacking plant and on the cleaning crew. In court filings, the company did not deny hiring children, but attributed it to rogue individuals who presented fake identification. You met them. Do they look like adults to you? I would have a hard time ever calling the people I've met with adults. Uh, they certainly look, especially the, the youngest middle schoolers, um, no way to pass as an adult. PSSI's 17,000 employees clean the largest meat processing plants in America for household brands at 700 sites across the country. Former employees we spoke to said it's a dangerous working environment. But be prepared to undergo extreme temperature changes from hot to cold, withstand wetness and humidity, and work around chemicals. Lute says she thinks the children may have been part of a trafficking scheme that led them to work at a slaughterhouse in her town of just over 50,000 people. There's too many coincidences with these children to think that this wasn't some kind of plot uh, entertained by a trafficker, uh, a coyote, a smuggler, um, or potentially even somebody who worked for PSSI. A spokeswoman for PSSI says investigators from Homeland Security Investigations have not contacted the company and said in a statement, we have always taken rigorous steps to comply with the law, including use of the government's e-verify system for new hires, extensive training for all hires managers, multiple audits, and use of biometrics. So far, no penalties or fines have been imposed, but Lutz is calling for accountability. They are responsible for hiring uh, minors and noticeable minors in facilities across the country, and they need to pay that price, either financially or criminally. All right, Julia Ainsley joins us now from our Washington, D.C. Bureau. Julia, you have reporting. I know that DHS is also looking into whether the children were possibly victims of human trafficking. That's right. And DHS investigators have said that they've so far found no indications that the company, PSSI, actually would have been part of a trafficking scheme so far. But they are looking at who may have profited off of this, who might have supplied them with fraudulent documents or have given them housing as part of what could be a human trafficking scheme. So some of the kids you mentioned were as young as 13. How did authorities figure out that, th that there were children possibly working at these plants? Well, it actually goes back to 2016. There was a police report from that time where teachers were reporting a young girl who was in class with burns, and they're also uh, because of the chemicals that they were using to clean. And she it was found it was found to be overnight from her PSSI job. This is back in 2016. At the time, local police investigated her parents, but PSSI was never uh, a defendant in that case. This is Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Thank you for watching, and I'm gone.